Welcome to this presentation on Student Connect. In order to access Student Connect, you will first head to Google Chrome. When you're inside Google Chrome, you will head to Clever, clever.cusd.com. Click on the rainbow colored box in the middle of the screen. You might need to navigate down the screen just a little bit in order to locate the Q Student Connection button. Click one time on the Q Student Connection button. Your username and password has already been stored in the system and you should be able to get in without typing in a username and password. If for some reason you are prompted to type in username and password, please do not change that. Simply log in. On the next screen, you should see your name. You might need to double click on your name in order to access information. Along the left hand side, you will see a series of different areas that will give you more information. In order to expand or shrink any of those specific menu items, you would click on the plus or minus symbol that you see on the left. The plus will give you more information, the minus would produce less information, more or less. In order to access assignments, make sure that you have clicked the More button in order to show more assignments. Once those assignments appear, you will see different pieces of information attached to each assignment, and you will see each of the categories of your grades broken down individually. If you think that some of your assignments are missing, please click on the small gray box over on the right hand side where it says show all. When you click that box, at that point more assignments will appear on the screen before you. You'll notice different categories from left to right. On the right hand side it shows one area that says not graded. If your teacher has not officially pressed a specific button on his or her end for those grades to be calculated in the overall score, you will see a small X over there on the right indicating that that specific assignment has not been graded yet. Over on the right hand side you'll also see an area that says comments. If there are any comments that your teacher wants to include, please pay close attention to those comments for that assignment please. Over here on the left it says cafeteria. If you are uncertain how much money you have on your cafeteria balance, then you would come over to this area. In this space, it shows all of the transactions for your account. It shows each individual charge and it also shows each payment that has been attached to that specific account. Parents can receive emails when Parent Connect is updated. This can include information like grades as well as cafeteria balances. Parents would need to log in and make those changes to their own specific account. And this is how that happens. If a parent logs into his or her account, over on the right hand side it will say email notifications. Click here one time. On this next screen, Parents have the ability to make specific decisions based on the information they would like to receive nightly about each child. This image shows what it would look like for a family with four children. You'll notice how there are four individual children listed on this screen. There are also five different types of information that can be received. School news, attendance, assignments, report card, as well as cafeteria balance information. Each parent would need to put a check mark into each individual box showcasing what information they would like to receive. After you have made that selection, then choose the submit button on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and have a great day.